So hello, this book is Moon. It is the last of the three pack I'm going to be reading about space. First one was Sun, and then we read about Earth, and now this one is Moon. This is Moon, Earth's best friend. So cute with little eyes. Oh, sorry about that. Read this book about Moon, written by Moon, and yes, you gaze up at, you guessed it, Moon. So here's Pretty Moon from Scholastic. I definitely love them as a source of books. But Stacy, I got an Aussie, illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Ooh, what a happy moon. It looks like a pearl. So shiny and light. Alright, let's read the dedication. For Dad, you're always there for me even when I can't see you. SM. For Baptiste, Florian, and their little moons, Charlie and Willow. SL. For Deimos and Phobos, my distant cousins, orbiting Mars, M. Those are Mars moons. Alright. Our universe, Moon, Earth's best friend. By Moon, with Cece McElunty. Illustrated by Moon and Stevie Lewis from Scholastic Inc. Look up, look up, it's me, Moon. I'm Earth's best friend. Where Earth goes, I go. We have been together since the beginning, almost. Let me tell you our story once upon a time. Ooh. About 4.5 billion years ago, a space rock the size of Mars crashed into baby earth big old mess pieces of rock chunks of earth and even lava were blasted into space this crash trash came together to make me a satellite a satellite is just things that kind of circle around me so the moon technically is one Actually, I'm Earth's only natural satellite. Natural means not created by Earthlings. Satellite, I circle Earth. So anything that circles Earth is a satellite. She has thousands of human-made satellites too. They're mostly metal and plastic. Not exactly best friend material. These are pictures of what satellites can look like. Guess that makes me Earth's number one real sidekick. It takes me 27.3 days to go around Earth once. It also takes me 27.3 days to spin around to spin once. Coincidence? I think not means I'm dependable. My face always smiles at Earth. You never see my backside. But you probably noticed I look different every night. Fun, right? Check out my phases. Waning crescent. New moon. So that means waning means it's getting smaller. Waxing crescent, Ooh. first quarter, when it, uh, waxing means it's getting bigger. It's called waxing gibbous or gibbous. Full moon doesn't make wolves howl. Yep, that's not, people like to say it, but it's not true. Waning gibbous, last quarter, back down to wincing, waning crescent. It's a cycle, it just goes round and round and round. Some other planets have best friends, too. I am moon, but I'm not the only moon in the solar system. So, Jupiter and moons, lots. Neptune and moons. Mars and moons, only two. Uranus and moons. Saturn and moons. 
So here's some other moons. There's Io and Titan and Ganymede and Callisto. I think these are all Jupiter's moons. But of all the moons, I'm fifth biggest. I'm always, I'll always be Earth's pal, but that doesn't mean we're twinsies. She's bigger, four times bigger, 6,784 miles around, 24,874 miles around, and her gravity is six times stronger. Gravity, the invisible force that makes an apple fall to the ground instead of flying up to the sky. So here's a cow on Earth. Here's a cow on the moon. A cow that weighs 600 pounds on Earth would weigh only 100 pounds on me. Speaking of cows, Earth has cows and nursery rhymes and nursery rhymes starring cows but a cow has never jumped over me i'm too far away for even a kangaroo to make that leap Ooh, look kangaroo so that's uh hey diddle diddle cat with a fiddle cow jumped over the moon Average distance between Earth and me, two, uh, 238,855 miles. That's a lot. You could fit 30 Earths in that distance. And probably a gazillion cows. That's a lot of cows. BFFs help each other out. I keep Earth from being too wobbly. This might be the most important thing I do, and you probably didn't even know about it. With me, gentle spinning, my gravity at work. Without me, topsy-turvy. Don't worry, moon gazers, you're never without me. I don't disappear during the day. I'm always here for Earth. You just can't see me when it's super bright out, or when it's cloudy, or when I'm on the other side of Earth. I can prove I'm always here. Check out the ocean's tides. See, ocean. High tide happens twice a day. Low tide happens twice a day. That's gravity again, my gravity. Pulling on Earth's oceans. Oh, look at the crab and the seagulls and the fish and a jellyfish over here. Jellyfish. I have the best views of Earth, and Earth has the best views of me. Ooh, spaceships. But some Earthlings wanted to see me up close. I've had 12 moonwalkers and a few left footprints. And some of those footprints are still here. I'm the only other place in the universe where man has set foot. And I do mean man. I'm still waiting for my first female astronaut. No wind or rain to snow to mess up those footprints. Other things you won't find on me. Mosquitoes, which I th is a good thing, I think. Oxygen, liquid water, animals. So there's a dog and a robin and a mouse. And I think an alligator and a snake, including cows or plants. Things you will find on me. Rocks, really big rocks. More rocks. Nail clippers, which are presents from Earth stuff left by my untidy astronauts an american flag a hammer falcon feather golf ball i wonder if they intentionally left it 
Earth and I have so much fun together, like when we play Eclipse, Solar Eclipse. I hide sun for a few minutes. We play this during the day. Lunar Eclipse. Earth's shadow passes over me. We play this at night. The moon's light is a reflection from the sun. I'm always here for Earth. I'm always here for you. Where Earth goes, I go. Oh, look, people are out camping. There's a campfire. And where Earth goes, you go. Guess that makes us best friends, too. Aww. <clears throat> All right. Dear fellow moon gazers, it's easy to see why Moon is Earth's best friend. Moon is loyal. We know exactly where and when we'll see her. Moon is helpful. She keeps our planet from being too wobbly and creates the tides. She's fun. You can't have an eclipse without her. In addition, Earth and Moon have history. They go back about 4.5 billion years. So next time you see your BFF, say, you're as marvelous as the moon. And that's quite the compliment. Sincerely, Cece McAlty, author and fan of natural satellites. P.S. Every day, scientists are learning more and more about our solar system. Yay, science! So, some details may change as our knowledge expands. But hey, that's to be expected, right? So, <clears throat> sorry. Here's a little game, Two Truths and a Myth About Moon. You'll have to get the book to be able to play it. Moon by the numbers on a name. So this talks about different kinds of moon names. And here's a list of sources. Yeah, that's the end. All right, that was the last of the series that I have. Hopefully there's more so we can get it and then we can read it. I had fun. I hope you did too. Have a great day.